We have a source video. We extract control net passes and use it to make a render. By this technique you can convert any video into any other style using Comfy and Anime Diff. Download all the workflows from my Google Drive or Patreon page. Documented step-by-step -step guide tutorial is also present on my Patreon for free. Download and install Comfy Manager. It becomes easy to install the missing nodes from the workflow. Git install the manager through CMD in the custom nodes folder if not yet installed. Install all the missing nodes from all the parts of the workflow one by one. Make sure to run Comfy as admin so it can download the dependencies. If you get the error if evaluate nodes are missing then. Download the 1.92 version of the efficiency node and install it manually. Delete the efficiency nodes folder from the custom nodes and replace it with the 1.92 version. if manual install does not work. Delete the overlap and A plus B node, and connect the batch range to the image load cap inputs in the raw and control net directory nodes. All download links will be in description below. It's time for exporting control net passes from the source video. Load the control net passes exporter in Comfy. Copy the path of the video and paste it in the input video path node. Make sure to remove the quotes else it will give error. 
Now copy the address of the folder where you want to save the passes and paste it. If you have a high specs PC, put batch range value to zero to render all frames in one go. Suppose we have a video of 800 frames, and our PC can handle only 200 frames at a time, so we will render the frames in multiple batches. After every batch we will increase the skip frames value to the total of already outputted images. With this multiple batches workflow you can render longer videos of any length. Enable the passes you want to extract. Edit its settings if you need. You can downscale the images or you can use custom resolution also. Check all the images are rendered properly. Select two control net passes which has the most accurate details. This is the heart of the workflow. You can make any style of render from this. Load the raw animation file. Make a new folder to save the renders. Copy its path and paste it in output path node. Copy the control net's folder paths and paste in the control net inputs nodes. Make sure to choose the appropriate control net model. Change control net settings if needed. See red notes for detailed information about what these nodes do. Use Loras to get a more creative look and style. When you are happy with the results, delete the test renders. Set batch range and also update skip frames after every batch. Now we move on to the refiner workflow. In this the images are refined and upscaled. Duplicate the comfy tab. Load the refiner workflow in the new tab. Copy the prompts from RAW and paste it in the Refiner tab. Also copy Loras stack if you use them.
Make a new folder to save the refined renders. Copy its path and paste it in the output path node. Copy the raw images folder path to the raw images input node. Also do the same for the control nets. After the refiner, if faces are not looking good, you can fix them in the face fix workflow. Copy the refined images path and paste it in the input images node. Make a new folder and copy its path and paste it in the output path node. Import all the batches and sequence them. Overlap them properly. Fade out the opacity during the overlapping for a smooth transition. Add audio effects, color corrections and post effects. I post updates, tutorials, workflows, tips, tricks on my Patreon. I thank my Patreon family for supporting me and motivating me to make tutorials like this.